unboxing of children's books from Penguin Random House. And all these books are on sale starting December 31st, the end of the year. And actually, I think it's kind of interesting because um, the beginning of January is not a really big book release time of year, I've noticed. Uh, because, you know, people are done holiday shopping Christmas. And like anything, like just because my birthday is beginning of early January, like, you know, people are burnt out of shopping and they're out of money. Um, and so I think this is a, a time of year where people don't really release new books or new products because just, it just seems like no one's ready for that. So it's interesting that these are all coming out at the very end of the year. So let's see what we have here. The first is a board book by Nosy Crow, and that is an imprint, I believe, of Candlewood Press. And so this is an elephant bath um, board book. It looks cute. I really like the illustrations. Um, and who is it by? It is by Brenna Teckentrup. And uh, it's sort of Ellie loves bath time, but she's not the only one. Soon everyone else wants to join in the fun. How can she get her bath all to herself again? She might need some help from you. So I don't believe it's rhyming. Though that description just rhymed. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one is a picture book, Peep and Ducky, It's Snowing, by David Martin, illustrated by David Walker. And um, you know, kind of cute animals. I'm actually a little surprised that a snowing themed picture book um, is out in January, even though, you know, it's obviously where we live, it snows. So usually these um, season themed books come out a little bit early before the season so that they're kind of fully in position, um, you know, to kind of for that, for that period of time. So I feel like this is Candlewick Press. I feel like you know, the release date maybe should have been late um, autumn, but, you know, maybe sometimes it's just hard to make your release time because of delays, so I don't know. But I'm just definitely a book to enjoy winter and snow with animals. Um, yeah, it looks cute. I think it's just hard, though, because there's a lot of winter theme books, snow theme books, so it's hard to break in and stand out because you have to compete against all the really great books out there. Um, and then a lot of snow books already have come out for this particular year. Oh, so this series is with the British Museum. It looks like there are four um, and they're concepts, so opposites, ABC, colors, and numbers. Always a good triad. And these are board books, and looks like these feature um, artifacts and uh, paintings um, from the British Museum, which I've been lucky to be able to see it. And it is a pretty incredible museum. So you have an index of all um, the museum pieces, um, but here they are just used to um, convey different concepts. So this is counting, and it's 1 through 20, which most counting books don't go up that high, so that's kind of nice. This one is colors, um, same thing. I like how they're using just a range of objects. So it's not just all paintings or, you know, pottery, but it's also, you know, I hear fans and clothing. Um, I think that's really interesting. And so, again, in the back, we have um, what each artifact is, these objects. So that's really cool. So this is colors, an alphabet. Oh, the Great Wave. They have a copy of that. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Beautiful and well done. You don't have to have gone to the British Museum to enjoy this. I think any child would enjoy this. Certainly the parents. And I like board books that have something for um, both the adult reader and the child reader. Um, and then maybe it makes, um, it's great too if uh, you are able to go to the British Museum or just any museum and definitely 
teaches very young, the very young kids about you know what to expect in a museum. Maybe even piques their interest and gets them interested in going to a museum, any kind of museum. Okay, great. This is a nice box of books. Thank you from thank you to Penguin Random House.